There is a variety of Salesforce related content. This is Salesforce related content um, focused on different topics. Uh, so some of these include people that run podcasts. There's a podcast called Campfire Stories, and that is an interview with a single person about their backstory and a little bit about what they do in the Salesforce ecosystem. It's kind of um, like, a, like a living room conversation, but recorded on a podcast. There's Automation Hour, which has been running for a very long time, and it's all about how you can make something happen using automation, so using a workflow maybe once upon a time a long long time ago before that got sunset or flow now process builder back when that was new um or any kind of you do this and then magic happens in the background and then something else happens and so if you're interested in learning more about that you could check out automation hour there are a variety of other podcasts and um, video uh, webinars vlogs whatever you want to call them and you can just, you know, search for that content on YouTube or on your, your podcast if you listen to podcasts. Uh, that content, I think, is, is really good if you're looking for a sense of community, a sense of how did somebody else do this? How, how can I do this? Um, if you just want to kind of hear people talk about Salesforce to, to get a sense of familiarity with those conversations, especially if you're somebody who is between jobs or you're trying to break into the Salesforce ecosystem, the more that you hear the language of Salesforce, I think the better you will be at speaking about Salesforce in an interview because it is like a language. And so if somebody's talking on a, a you know, a podcast and they're saying, oh yeah, I was really trying to get this formula to work, but I couldn't get the formula to save because I was pushing in a date time value, but it didn't tell me which one was a date time value. So I had to wrap it in a text wrapper. And then I was able to use it in the if statement as a condition that can like go way over people's heads. And most of these, um, you know, grassroots type content, they're not going to be that high level, but the more that you listen to it, it's just like a language, the more you're going to be able to speak it. So I do recommend checking out some of those resources. Also, the people who make that content, they want you to reach out. They want you to say, this was great. Uh, do you have recommendations? And so generally people are super welcoming and accepting, and it's a great way to just put yourself out there.